Yo, what is up Robocomp and Hobocomp? Today we're going to be installing some shoulder upgrades for our Modiverse Megatron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a phenomenal figure, but you know, you can't really move that tread forward. And um, I guess the old toy, you couldn't do that either, but still, that doesn't mean that we can't improve upon this, right? And I forget where I actually saw this first, but it was pretty compelling. Um, and so, yeah, I bought a pair off of eBay. I don't even know what they're called actually. And so um, I'm gonna start unscrewing this and um, yeah, hopefully it goes well because I super duper suck when it comes to stuff like this. And I don't know what compelled me to try to do this on camera, but away we go. Um, you know, I mentioned Hobo earlier, right? Random story that I got. Back in the day when I used to go to church and I used to practice Christianity, um, I forget why, but it was in third grade, like, the, the yeah, this one can't grip the screw in there. Okay, there we go. In third grade, I distinctly remember, there was this survey about, like, like, what are you afraid of? And one of the words, one of the options that you could choose from <laughs> was hobo, right? <laughs> like, homeless person. And we were doing the exercise, and one of the girls in the class, uh, I think it was Patty Lee. I don't, oops, yeah. I don't quite remember. Um, let's see, so I know he has two screws here, and I believe he has two more back over here, yeah. Uh, one of the gals in class named Patty Lee, she started crying, and the teacher was like, what's wrong? Oh, sorry, I'm messing up the story. So the teacher basically said, hey, cross out hobo. I don't know why, but I guess she thought that it was like irrelevant or just something not realistic, and she was like, cross out hobo. And uh, homegirl Patty started crying, and the teacher was like, what's wrong? And then she's like, I'm afraid of hobo. And she just broke down in tears. I was like, whoa. Um, I don't know. Maybe she had a lot of scary hobos in her neighborhood. Is that still an okay term to use? I I, I hope so. Or like homeless or unhoused? I, I don't know. They don't sound necessarily offensive to me, but whatever, dude. If I've offended anyone to all the hobos out there, I apologize. And technically, I'm homeless. I don't. I mean, I, I I take that back. I'm not homeless. I'm houseless. I don't have a house. <laughs> I do have a home though. Okay, so this came off, and uh, the instructions aren't great on eBay. Whoa, he has he has a couple of more screws in here. So, guess we got to go one layer deeper because we have to remove this entire backplate. Let me make sure that I'm keeping track of which screws are what, in case they use different screws. I certainly hope not. Um, yeah, there's no instructions. Nothing came, well, there's some stuff that just came out. Nothing came with the kit. There's just some pictures on eBay and it's just like, figure this out. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay. Actually, I take that back. Oh, no, no. All right. Well, they all seem to be the same screw, thankfully. So I'm not going to get confused. Okay. Great. Sorry, I just want to make sure that I keep this in the shot while I'm doing this. So it says I should be able to. It says I should be able to remove this entire thing, which would consist of this top portion as well. But it's uh, the most wonderful time of the year. No, it's not. It's not coming out. Is there another screw that's holding this in? I don't think so. Can I use the shoulder? Yeah, I don't I don't think there's another screw. Just looking for a way to kind of Try this open. There's a little bit of give in the neck. I can see. Well, let me try to do this off camera. Hold up. All right, I think I figured it out. I could be wrong, but I think this is sandwiched inside the waist. So, did I wish they had kind of mentioned this? Because this is a bit of a pain in the Astro Train right now, <laughs> to be honest. And I'm like, oh. Okay, almost lost that screw. And I'm like, this is almost not worth installing it. <laughs> Hello, little screw. Oh, where are you going? 
Okay, so I gotta remember this. There's a little screw on the top, and then the long screw is on the bottom. And on the other side, there is another screw, but like, how do I get there? Oh, okay. You gotta position the can in the right way, and then you can get to it, but the clearance is tight. And I'm like kind of regretting doing this right now. And uh, I hope the screw doesn't get warped. Sky warped. All right, and I just need to get to this one last one over here. But I got to turn this the proper way. And dude, this bottom one is tough. This because this the turret doesn't turn 360 and I don't want to force it um which makes me think that I have to remove the turret get the cup out of here dude cuz I feel like that's like kind of glued in there dude they didn't tell me about this let's see Alrighty. All right, hold up. I'm going to see if I can remove the turret off camera one second. All right, just letting you know that I unscrewed this, but it's not doing anything for this. And I really just kind of just really need to get by and get in here. That's a really tough one. This one right here. If I could just get the screw head to lock in place, we could do something with it, but it's either it's stripped or or the angle is really preventing me. Man, if I could just turn this a little bit more. Okay, I got it. That is not comfortable though. I can already tell you that if you're not into um, home improvement projects and you don't want to put some elbow grease on this, uh, don't do this. Don't don't do this fix. It's uh, it's kind of not worth it in my opinion already. All right. So I got this out. Um, so this is, this is what he looks like. Well, what a trip, right? Yeah, what a trip. But that's cool, man. They, there's like, there's details over here on the waist. That's kind of cool, man. I'll give him props for that. They need to do that. So hopefully now this will come apart. If not, I'm just gonna stop. I'm not. I'm gonna. It's not worth taking them apart anymore. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's these other screws here, but I don't think they impact this because this looks like it's just housed over this. And I just need to be able to split the front of the chest from the back. Oh, it looks like it's coming off. Okay, oh my lord. That took way too much trouble. Way too much trouble. Totally not worth it at this point in my opinion. I mean, let's see what the final product, because we're this far, right? Um, yeah, what a pain in the Astro Train. And then, so now, we have to remove this and... Uh, Yeah, this is a pain in the Astro Train, dude. Thankfully, the, most of the screws are the same. So we pop this one off. Uh oh, 
and then we got to get this bit out. I'm only going to focus on one arm first so that, uh, does this piece come off? Or is it just one piece? Okay. Okay. Dude, I hope that's all in the all in the shot right now. Hold up. Let me adjust the camera. All right. I should have showed you the upgrade kit before I did all of this. But it's basically these shoulder bits, and then you can see that there's an extra rotation in there. And, um, wait a minute. Hmm. You see what's wrong here? They sent me two of the same sides. Hmm. But maybe it won't matter if it's just flipped like that. Hmm. Hold on. Let me consult some pictures. Oh, whoa, they, they removed, okay, they do show everything removed. I should have looked at that. And then, so that's going to do that. So, it'll be looking like this, and then it'll have, um, hmm. Oh, that's it. Okay. So I guess these little holes, they don't do anything? Oh, no, no, no. They do. They do. They do. They... I see the screws here. Dude, this is a pain in the asterisk. I keep, me I keep mentioning it, but it's like, dude, I'm not having fun right now. <laughs> it feels like I'm doing chores at home. So there are four screws. Okay, so they did provide the screws. Um, all right. Let me just look at the picture again. So this is supposed to be oriented like that. All right. So first things first. It looks like I am housing them. And there. And then. Oh, I see. So this is going to. That's going to go through there. Makes sense. And that's going to close up here, hopefully. Because mind you, these are these are third-party uh, parts, and this looks like it's 3D printed. Uh, so I'm hoping it doesn't break in the future, because I I have had 3D parts break, uh, like ones that I've ordered from China. N not not trying to vilify China or anything like that. I'm just telling you a fact. Uh, so it looks like there's going to, so it looks like one screw goes over here to close all of this up. Oh, no, 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 no. And then it looks like there's going to be another screw up there. This is a tiny screw. But it is getting in there and it is tightening okay and so they have a secondary screw but i feel like this one the one that was used for the um original shoulder 
I, I feel like it's going to do the trick. I mean, I don't want to stretch out the, the hole, so maybe I'll just try with theirs first. But, I mean, the, the spacing and everything, it looks like... I mean, we'll know in a second if this... If this just kind of goes in and doesn't tighten, then we'll know that these are just extra screws. But, dude... I have such fat fingers. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is frustrating. <laughs> and I have to start working a little bit, and I gotta clean all of this up. All right. Okay, well, it's, it's screwing in, so I'm gonna assume that these were meant for this, and I'm glad I didn't use the, the standard screw, because it would have been too thick the the ones with the kit are, are much narrower and it looks like it's purposely done like that so okay i can't turn anymore let's see if i've done it right or i'm gonna cry because i messed it up now i got it right yay oh wait a minute no wait a minute I left out this part. Or oh, oh wait, no. Okay, no, 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 no. Woo. <laughs> so it looks like it goes like that. And then everything just slides in there, or is supposed to when everything is lined up properly. Okay, we're in there, we're in there. The one thing it doesn't do is, um, I've seen some kids that add ratchets to this. Um, I still think he's gonna have that arm problem where um, where it's kind of like loose goose, but we'll see, we'll see. So now looking at this, I can I can see what they did. They just took this and then they just took this and then they added a swivel there. But boy, this is a lot of trouble to get here, man. And I gotta get the yeah. Boy. That was a journey, homie. That was a journey. And not the nice don't stop believing type. This was a dude, this is a 17 minute video. Well yeah. While while this is not a very I should say not a fruitful waste of time. It is a bit of a learning experience. And um, what that learning experience is, I should, instead of jumping the gun and just buying this kit, I should have examined Armada Prime, or excuse me, Armada Megatron to discern whether, like how many screws I would need to, you know, replace and kind of determine whether this was a route that I wanted to go down, you know. Um, and having done this, I, I can't say that I would, I would, uh, repeat the steps, but nonetheless, let's look at the final product. And if you are still watching up to this point, like, man, yo, props to you, props to you. I can only assume that you're one of the longer, <laughs> long time members of this channel who actually just like kind of hanging out. Um... I think in this video, I've said pain in the Astro Train more times than, oops, I shouldn't be doing this, more times than I've ever <laughs> said on a video before. But dude, trust me, it's warranted. I'm not just saying it. I'm not just saying it. Okay. Almost forgot to do this in my haste. This is a little tight. I will give them this, though. The, the, the fit... Um, this one especially is extremely tight, uh, the friction on there. So, I mean, they must have done a lot of trial and erroring uh, because the, the fit is very, very accurate. You know, I mean, credit where credit's due. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a solid fit. It doesn't feel loose or anything like that. Um, come on, boy, get in there. Oh, 
this one just kind of having some trouble finding the mark okay there we go nope it's going in crooked I was saying all this nice things about the 3D print and then suddenly the screw is not going in properly. Okay, I think we got it. Yeah, my hands are starting to hurt. Alright, I can't turn anymore. Good, 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 good. Now we... What do we do? Wait, what? Like that? Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait, where's that? Where's that last screw? Okay. And now, oh, we have to put everything back. I don't think I'm going to keep you waiting while I unscrew, while I screw everything back. Yeah, what's that noise? Oh, it's coming from the screwdriver. I was like, yo, why is this like crunching noise coming from my wrist? Are those my bones? Where is it? No, no, it's this part. <laughs> so, all right. All right. All right. You know what? I'm just going to show you. And that way, I'll just reassemble them off camera. So the big difference is that he can do this now. That's the big difference. It kind of ruins the sculpt a little bit, and this looks weird. But was it worth it? No. No. Not in my opinion. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it at all. I mean, I thought it'd be cool, but then I'm like, dude, he's just going to be sitting on my shelf, dude. Um, I don't recommend it. Not because uh, it's a bad product. I think it's a good product. Um, but I don't think there's going to be much utility, uh, at least not for me. I mean, if you're somebody who's like really, really into dynamic poses, perhaps this is for you. But for me, who's more of a, um, shelf collector, this guy, this kid is not for me. And also the path getting here again, I'll say it one last time was a pain in the Astro train. And I don't think I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm not going to recommend this, but it could work for you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm just going to turn the video up and I'm just going to reassemble them back. Um, and that's that. But yeah, you can see that's, that, that's what it does. You, see, you have the same articulation. Um, it doesn't mess with transformation. Oh, what's this? There's some dust, I guess, that came off from here. And then so that also shows me that this is not pure black plastic or whatever the 3D filament is because under duress... You can see the grinding there. You can see it's white powder that's coming off. I mean, that can be uh, remedied with some, like a magic marker or paint or, or whatever, but nonetheless, uh, just another heads up. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching this 25 minute video, good Lord. But um, yeah, I hope you have a nice day and uh, tune in for <laughs> tune in more, tune, tune in for more shenanigans next time, all right? Take care, bye-bye.